Welcome back with Painting with a Purpose, my artistic friends. Today we are gonna be creating a cupcake and the colors you're gonna need are the primary colors. That is red, yellow, and blue. You're also gonna need a little bit of black and white. Everything on our picture today, we are going to be mixing colors. You're gonna need your flat brush, your medium round brush, and your small round brush as well as a stampable circle. And a stampable circle is something you can stick and paint and make a circle stamp. So a cup, a paper towel roll, a lid from a soda bottle, all of those things would be stampable circles. That would be something you can dip in paint and stamp on your canvas without your parents being upset with you for dipping it in paint. So let's get started. The first thing we're gonna do is we are gonna use our medium flat brush and yellow paint. What we're gonna do with that is we are gonna create a line that goes all the way across the middle of our canvas. This is gonna separate our cupcake table from our cupcake top. Now that we have this on there, you have a couple decisions to make. What color are you wanting your table to be? You have a couple choices, red, yellow, or blue. So I want you to be creative and think about what color you want your table to be. I'm going to choose to make my table blue, but I want to create a tint of the color blue. To create a tint of the color blue, I'm going to dip my paintbrush in blue and I'm gonna pull from the edge of my white. The reason I wanna pull from the edge of my white is if I dip right in the middle, I get all of that messy. But this way I only get the corner messy. So a tint is when you add white to a color to make it lighter. So on here, I'm going to make a light blue table. Because there was so much blue on my first scoop, the second scoop, I just grabbed white. I'm going to mix that in and I'm going to create a light blue table. Remember, a tint is when you take blue or any other hue and you add white to it to make it lighter. So I'm gonna fill in my table all the way. All the way, fill in that whole table. Side to side, side to side. If you need to grab more paint, always go grab some more paint. It's okay if part of your table is darker than the other part of your table. All we're looking at doing right now is creating a full table. The whole table is gonna be painted blue. Or for you, it might be a red. It's funny, if you had white to red, you don't have red anymore, you have pink. Color that whole table in. After you get the table colored in, you're actually gonna pull your color across left to right, and then right to left. That is going to clean up your table lines and really help you have a nice background. When you're finished, you can just wipe your brush off. Now you're gonna do the exact same thing for the top of your table. You are going to be able to, on your wall of your art, that's the space up here, pick a different color. You can either add red and white together, or you can add yellow and white together, but look what I'm going to do. First, I'm gonna wash my brush off really good. Soap and water, not soap, just water. It's not like it's your stinky toes, it's just soap. You don't need any soap, you just need water. Paintbrush, I'm gonna take my yellow and white. So I'm choosing to do yellow and white, but instead of painting the whole background in, I'm gonna paint stripes. My stripes can be thick or thin, but I do wanna make them a tint of the shade, of the hue. So that means I am taking white and yellow and I'm mixing them in to make a light yellow color. White and yellow, and I'm mixing them together to make a light yellow color. Oh, I like those lines a lot. That looks great. Now that I've finished that yellow, I'm gonna wash my brush off with water and I'm just gonna set it down. The next thing I'm gonna do is I'm going to use that printable circle. 
and I'm going to print polka dots on my tablecloth. Now, if I've got a big cup like this, I might only be able to add a couple polka dots. But if I have an itty bitty paper towel roll or toilet paper roll, I'll be able to have many more. So watch how I do this. I'm gonna take my cup and my paintbrush. I'm gonna pick a color. I can choose blue, yellow, red, which are the primary colors, or I can even choose white or black. The choice is mine. I'm gonna choose blue and I'm gonna paint the edge of my cup. Paint the edge of my cup. And I'm going to stamp the edge of my cup onto my background. And I'm gonna get messy circles. I love messy circles. The other option you could do is you could actually roll your object through your paint. The only problem with that is sometimes you get too much. I like it sometimes when my art looks a little bit messy. So I'm gonna do another polka dot right here, trying to see really hard to say on my table. I can even flip it around. I can paint the bottom of my cup. Paint the bottom of my cup and I can do some smaller circles. All we're doing is adding a little bit of texture to our art. And we're adding some detail to our art. When you're finished, you either need to wash off your reusable circle or throw it in the garbage can. It's whatever your family decides is best for your art. Come back in a couple minutes and we'll talk about the next step, which is drawing our cupcake.